Hey you guys. Sorry, I had that. I had something in my teeth. <laughs> Listen, I've been doing some serious research. <laughs> I've been doing some serious research on making money online, and these guys are amazing. I make it break it down to you to the T, and I don't think I could do that with you guys so my suggestion to you is do what I'm doing right now do some research that's making money online on these free YouTube channels you might have to watch two to three to four of them or five or even more if you're serious and just get the shit for free yes it's not a shortcut yes you'll be buying a, a shortcut to these people's programs but unfortunately a lot of us bottom feeders can barely afford two hundred dollars not alone fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars even five hundred dollars so my suggestion to all of you is look online find a tutorial that works for you and follow it the best that you can I am gonna um I'm gonna actually start on the third that's when I get paid because there's some things that I am going to pay for. I just don't want free. But if you want to do it for free, there are tutorials to do it for free too. But it's a little more difficult But you, for me. But for you, maybe it's not. So go do some research. That's what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm trying to manifest a new life. And in order to do that, <clears throat> I can't get mad at them. I can't hate them for what they're doing. So if you can't beat them, join them. The door is open right now for the one percentiles. I guess they're looking for new one percentiles because the older one percentiles are moving on. Okay, so and in America, we need a one percentile. We need that. I just hope all the one percentiles that God chooses this time has love in their heart so we don't get to this point again. I think all of us should be living a great, happy, abundant life where if you want to go to Hawaii whenever you want to go or travel whenever you feel like you want to go, you should be able to do that. That's your right. We've been kept down. We've been working for other companies, giving our time to these other companies. And we're selling our time to them and they're giving us pennies. Why don't you sell your time to yourself? Don't let them label you you're this amount of money an hour, $30 an hour, $10 an hour, $100 an hour. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody going to put no number on me ever again. I will be $0 an hour before I even step foot in somebody else's establishment and give the rest of my life to them to make whatever money that they think I'm qualified for an hour. I'm, I am worth whatever I say I am an hour. And you should feel the same damn way. There's a lot that I've learned and I am pushing myself. And I am going to be, yes, I might be tired right now, but eventually I'm going to have all the natural energy that I could possibly have. This is how you have to think. No matter what you feel, recognize your feeling, but let's say, say okay, but in the future I'm going to be better. Feel good right now and keep on feeling better. Feel good right now and keep on feeling better. Feel good right now and keep on. Sorry, this. <laughs> I will get new technology here soon. So I really am sorry about these YouTube videos that I am posting. They're just horrible. However, I said I was going to start from the beginning and work my way up to the top. And once I start affording new technology, you'll tell. You'll tell my beginning part to where I'm going, and I'm trying to, and I, and if you see me in the future making it, please, if you catch this in the future, and I'm making it with with money, I'm saying I'm not saying being like a superstar or anything, but making it with money, and you'll see, you'll see my new environment, you'll see my new home, you'll see everything as I go, because. I don't know about you, but I'm a little tired of feeling like I'm stuck while these young men and women are flying around in motherfucking helicopters. I can't get that out of my head. Driving in the best cars and shit. I can barely open up my trunk. Ugh. Anyways, so yes, I am going to start focusing on health and wealth and happiness and love and and it's and but the first thing I'm doing right now is is wealth. I should do health and wealth together, but sometimes I think your surroundings and your environment is part of your health, and I can't get 
my thoughts right living in the environment that I do. I know my inside of my environment is okay, but it's just the outside. I'm like, ugh. So I am going to make a change for me and my little one. And eventually I will be explaining to you about my life story. I'm a little hurt by that, by almost everybody that I was placed in my life. And I don't understand that just quite yet. And of course I did my part too. It takes two to tangle. Okay. I did my part too. I'm not taking anything away from anyone. But I think the one that got hurt the most was me. Yep, was me. So instead of, let's not even talk, let's not talk about that. I'm trying to stay happy as I can. So anyways, I am on, I think day five now. I had to take my cell phone in and I had to delete all my data to just be able to make videos. And the funny thing is after I post them on on YouTube, I delete them out of my phone. So I don't understand why this sorry ass phone that I've got. Now I manifested this. This is probably a stepping stone. I'm so ready for another one. I want to, I want an iPhone X. They say they have like almost unlimited data. Almost unlimited. So it's probably a lot. I'm probably going to have to pay a lot for that. But I don't care. I don't want to be limited anymore. If I, see that's the thing. If I had that kind of income, I already would have the best cell phone. It's probably even more than an iPhone X. You know? I want that kind of freedom. I want my money working for me. And I want you to have that same kind of freedom. Because we all deserve that. We don't deserve And you can even put a ball and chain on your own damn ankle. You got a job that you got to get up at 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, stay until 11, 12 o'clock in the morning again, all around the clock, come home, and you still ain't making enough money? What's wrong with that picture? I really do believe that people that own their businesses that think that they're free, you still are ran by a certain type of rules and regulations. I'm not going to say government because I don't even think it's the government. We blame the government for everything. I think it's something else, but who knows? Really, honestly, you can't beat them, join them. Because you know damn well we can't beat them people. We really can't. Unless we stick together, maybe we could change things. But as we change, they change. Who's they? I don't know. I'm just copying somebody. So anyway, so what I'm saying is this is what I'm doing. I'm going to try to manifest some crazy money where you guys are. I want a beach house. They said dream, dream big. I guess that sometimes people say that's not a big enough dream. That is a big enough dream for me. And I don't want a real big one. Maybe a, a four-bedroom flat where it's easy to clean. I don't want to hire a cleaner. I might hire a chef because that's important. That's going to help me with my health. But I could clean my own house. I mean, it'll take me forever, but hey, so what? At least I'll have a beach house. It's a lot of money for those beach houses. And it took me a long time to get here to my belief level. But I believe I could do it. I believe I could do it. I just got to pay attention to my surroundings, pay attention to everything that I do, and try my very best to pay attention to everything that I say. My job, I've been an introvert for about, for about, uh, four years straight. I've been in my shell. I haven't. I don't keep company. I don't keep friends. I might have maybe two or three people that hang around me. Got rid of everybody. Everybody, including family. Family was the hardest. Family was the hardest. But I did it, and now I'm ready to come out. And every time I try to come out, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. It's, uncomfortable. it's even uncomfortable for me to be on camera. But I always tell myself, well, it's a needle in a haystack, so hardly anybody's ever going to see this, so this is great. No one knows about it. I didn't request anybody. I'm not trying to buy any traffic. I'm just going to put it out there, and if somebody runs into it, great. If somebody does it, then fine. If you're running into it, then I'm talking to you. So what I'm trying to do is manifest a, cr a crazy, happy lifestyle. My, my next move is I want a beach house. I don't know where, how, when, what it looked like. I just know... What I'm going to feel when I walk in there is it's going to be love and encouragement and happiness, blissful happiness. And when I walk in there, I'm going to be able to create, design. My daughter is going to be able to grow up with beautiful, loving, rich, kind, understanding memories. You know, if something happens to me, I can leave that to my children. You know what I'm saying? So, this is my first step. 
and I'm looking online. It's a lot of information out there, and some of it is just like, okay, I, I can't handle fluff. Even if you try to rec disguise your fluff, I could recognize and smell fluff a mile away, but I listen to fluff. I'll make myself listen to it because sometimes you can learn a lot from fluff. It's hard, but you can. And here I am, the little hermit crab, trying to come out. <laughs> and it's not the easiest thing, but I'm doing it, okay? So I hope all of you guys have a great, happy, blessed, joyful day. And I look forward to talking hey, to you guys. Come on me. And there she is. Bye. Come here. Come here. No, we're not going to watch come you. Come here, come here, come here. She come loves on, her dude. video games. Come on, dude. So. Come on. Dude? Come Who are you calling dude? Come on. Really? Did you have to really? <laughs> really? This is my little Velcro. I love her. She's just the cutest little thing ever. I'm so blessed. Well, to me, you are. I love you. God, I love my baby. Thank you, God, for the most amazing human being that ever walked on this earth. Thank you for blessing me with her. Thank you for picking me to be her mother. I am honored to have such a great civilized individual such as herself in, in my presence. I love her to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear. You can quote anything. I love cartoons. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Little hermit crab here. Ooh, ooh. Trying to get some money so I can buy a beach house. All right. Bye.